Hey guys, what's going on? Valix Fury here. Today I'm going to go over how I built my home base, trap tunnels, and block offs for the Twine Peaks SSDs. These builds should and will get you through all your 10 SSDs, any war games you have to do, and will be very, very good for endurance. So we'll start with the tunnel to the east. So from your home base, the eastern side of it, place these three walls here, blank space, and then these two walls are for the north tunnel. So you can place them now if you want. So there'll be two walls, space, three walls. Then we'll have two roof pieces, the two cones. One cone here, and then we go up. One, two, three, four, five up. To the left of that. Two tiles up from that. So from the third one, you have two more. This is the lobber shield to protect from lobbers. To the right side. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. And then one up from the bottom. One, two, three. And then one, two. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty pieces for your lobby shield. And it'll look like that when it's done. And this is to stop them from wanting to throw from the spawn at your home base and it'll force them to they'll mostly clump over here and they can't throw so they'll get stuck there and you can just pick them off from up here or they'll just walk up your trap tunnel and they'll get knocked down there anyways so from in front of this first cone have one two walls and they'll both have wall launchers on them. And you have two floor pieces, car traps. Another wall here in the corner. I don't have anything on that, but you can put a wall dart on it if you want. Then another tar trap going to the east. Another wall launcher. And then here we have an edited cone into a ramp, so it would be edited like this. And it just goes down one and you have a wall to the left and then a wall above that for the launcher and the wall lights this is this piece here is just an edited wall piece that looks like this and that creates this uh quarter square here this is to make sure they walk on this side so that this wall launcher actually can punch them off of here and smashes as well can get punched down there this is another edited cone into a down ramp this wall here should have another wall light on it. So these are supposed to both be wall lights and they'll stun things on here, giving the um, launcher more time to knock them off. Bend them back down there. And I'll have to walk all the way back up and they get recycled back down there again. And we've got another floor piece with some floor spikes on them. Another wall launcher, a pit, wall launcher, another quarter wall like I showed before wooden floor spikes and a wall launcher so this is they'll spawn here around this area and they'll walk up this way and the lobbers won't throw because there's a lobber shield towards the end here i've put gas traps on the last four tiles where it's all along the flat just in case anything does make it this far and it's pretty much guaranteed to die for the most part everything is just going to get recycled down so it's not really about killing anything but if anything does make it this far, this will make sure they don't make it to the home base. So that's the first tunnel. I'll let you have a, an overlook at it from down this side. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wall launches. One, two wooden floor spikes. One, two, three, four, five tar pits. A freeze trap, and you can have two wall lights as well. 
and then the four gas traps. And that's literally it for this direction for traps and a tunnel. The rest of it is just a lot of block off. So you'll come around here. And this is a very, very simple block off. It's just one wall piece from, let's find out. Let's start on this side, it'll be easier. So from where this starts meets this wall, you'll place a wall going this way. So one more there, and then one, two, three walls across here. Going back up that. And then these are all just edited floor pieces, edited like this. Placed in front, one, two, and then this one here is edited like that. And it just goes in there and it just adds an extra block off so when they spawn they won't want to run through this wall and then this wall. They'll run, run this way and go up through your tunnel you've made. End up here so you can see it even easier from another angle. That's how that's built. And then around the other side of this, we'll run around so you can see. So some of them will come around here, some stragglers. And from this edge here, we've just got two walls with wall launchers on them. So anything that comes to here is just going to get hit off the edge. And then behind it is just two edited cone pieces that are edited. One's edited that way with the top left corner, and then one's edited with the top right corner. You can even just put stairs on there. You can put extra walls behind it if you need to keep the block off. Something else I would put on there is if you have a wall spike or a wall trap that has hills attached buildings. Because anything that does hit it, <clears throat> if enough things hit it, it can eventually break. But I've never had that happen. But you can counter that by just putting those wall spikes on the back of it. But anything that does hit it. It'll out here because the wall launcher will launch them away off the cliff and this will just make sure it doesn't it doesn't ever break. So then starting from here, coming up this ramp. So go up the ramp, we go one tile back. We've got one wall, two wall, three wall. Just blocking off this section here. So there's the first block off. Up the ramp, one tile back, and this block off. This is to Discourage them even more from wanting to walk this way because I'll have to break through that floor this wall and this wall as well And then at the top of that ramp another three walls across And then a corner piece This is so nothing I want to walk up there and if you don't have this corner piece Sometimes I'll get to here and they'll just shortcut through there if That ever happens, but because of this corner piece It's even less incentive for them to want to come this way and they 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 I've I've haven't had anybody ever try and break through here. Everybody's gone through the tunnel as expected. And that's the east side tunnel. So that's the, the whole east side of the SSD done with most of the block off. The only other block off piece I can show you this is for both the east and north tunnel. This is just a little L piece. So you'll come from the bottom of this ramp to the edge of this and you just build one wall. One wall. And then two walls this way. This is even less reason for things to want to come around there. Or try and come through there and try and come up. Because flingers and lobbers, if you block off the ability for them to throw, get very creative on trying to find a way to throw at your base. And if they can, they can try and run this way. You can also, if you're like not sure of it, you can build a wall there to make sure they won't walk through. But... The huts normally can't walk through areas we can, so we can walk through there, but they can't. There's something uh, something with their AI that doesn't let them do that. They have to walk through a fully open square. If the square's not fully open and obstructed by path, they won't walk through there for the most part. Okay. We'll go and start the north tunnel now. I'll show you another angle of this tunnel so you can get a very clear picture of what you would want to do. If if you're struggling to put smashes, any smashes are coming in, you're not getting them over there, you build these, you can build these on every single tile. And that'll just make sure the smashes walk on this edge so that your launcher actually can push them off. If they're here, Launcher won't have enough knockback to actually shoot them from here all the way across and off. But if they're here, it will easily knock them the half tile. 
to the ground and I'll have to run from there all the way back down and then back around and then they'll get knocked down again and that's just a, it's just a recycle because this only gets attacked like once every SSD and then once or twice in a in an endurance I think it gets hit on the first wave and I don't think it gets hit again maybe one other wave uh, down the back of this ramp here there's a there's a floor piece here and a wall piece this isn't for this build this is for the that amp there I think that's the um, hill amp so they spawn there and then if sometimes they'll want to walk this way but that's just a block off for another amplifier but you can place that now if you want to save some effort okay so the north tunnel will start here in the middle of our home base right in the middle a big wall with the wall darts on them this is obviously just to kill anything that comes up here then a bank blank tile then we've got one floor piece two floor piece with floor freeze traps these are edited low walls that look like this they're just the three bottom pieces left in it then put that around your floor pieces so there'll be four low walls and then one tile behind that will be two, two wall darts on the other side two more wall darts and then this is so that anything that comes to here will get hit by this freeze trap hit by this dynamo this dynamo those wall darts and those wall darts because wall darts can shoot over low walls in case you didn't know that they can shoot over low walls they can shoot through this edited piece so if this was in front of this if this was what the wall looked like instead if the um, edited window the wall darts those wall darts can shoot through this and shoot straight through that hole <coughs> which is very handy and then at the ramp we've got a natural ramp here we've got a sound wall which is in case any any exploder husks gasoline husks get this fire and will knock off <coughs> the remainder of their propanes and also so that anything getting this close to the base won't just start whacking on these walls and will just dance through here while they get just slaughtered by everything broadside on this side there's a wall there wall there down wall broadside the bottom of the ramp we've got another one floor tile two floor tiles with freeze traps another low wall with a dynamo low wall with a dynamo wall darts behind it wall darts behind it and then that's just boxed in so these are just a block off for this ramp so we've got where this natural ramp is you've got two floor pieces two wall pieces and the same will be on the other side so there's two floor pieces two wall pieces i can show it yeah there we go and that's just the block off to make them walk down this tunnel here so this is just boxed in and then when we get to here at the end of this side of this ramp there's another wall with wall darts on it to help kill anything that gets this far and then we'll go to the left we've got a wall piece with a sound wall we've got a wall piece with a dynamo wall piece with darts another wall piece going to the west wall piece going to the north and then one two three four wall pieces for this block off this is to stop any of them wanting to walk over and around that way and then we'll show you the tunnel on the other side on the back of this piece there's a wall launcher just in case I need this to help recycle stuff back down there and going the other way it should be mirrored so it should be down wall wall dynamo wall darts empty wall empty wall and then empty walls all along here so three empty walls along here and then an L here another piece here to block off this so this is to stop anything that'll spawn here and sometimes they'll want to walk and come through this way thinking that it would be easier for them and they'll try and come up there because you've got this blocked off they won't do that they'll go straight into your tunnels and die behind this um L piece that starts over here near this you've got an edited cone edited to the northwest and another cone that's just edited to the north and then behind this one is another two wall pieces creating a square 
And that's just to give them extra incentive to want to go through the tunnel. And then here we've got edited cone pieces to the north that create like a mini lobby shield so that they spawn there, they walk here and not immediately want to throw onto the base. Then we've got all of the roof tiles. So then we'll show you the roof now. There's also the lobby shield identical on this side. So we've got a square back there. The back behind this wall darts will be cube. Just making sure that they follow the tunnel. And then there's another mini lobby shield here with two edited cone pieces. And then next to the cone pieces, you have a wall. And then connected from that wall, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, a three by two of floors. A wall here in the middle piece. And then there'll be a wall here on this side piece. This is just extra stability in case any of this gets broken. So all of these don't just fall and break. So there's a two by three here. And then back here, we come down one tile, three walls there, three floors here, and they've all got ceiling drop traps on them. So this is just another another way to stall them. So things will spawn down here and anything that comes up here is gonna get hit by all of these traps. These will knock them about here and then these ones will knock them back down the ramp into this lava pit when it goes off. And it'll stall them and it's basically like a free trap. If the longer you keep stuff in that, the more it'll kill. The, the less traps you need. So from the top middle tile that we've placed here, this wall tile, yeah, up on top of that and then we've got this is all of the roof pieces the uh, tunnel towards the end so down the middle we've got one two three four five five tiles down the middle and then one two three four five so this is a three by five from this piece so this is 15 tiles here and then down the middle so down the middle will all be ceiling drop traps. And then when I've got enough materials down the sides will be ceiling electric fields. But anything that's here, I think from here, I can probably get rid of those. But from here, this will all be ceiling electric fields so that when something gets to here, it'll get hit by these drop traps, these two dynamos, the freeze trap, those two wall darts. Ceiling electric field there will hit it, and the ceiling electric field there will hit it. And it'll do that the whole way along and just make this just an absolute kill zone. Now we'll show over here with the block off. So just behind this wall you've built here. So this is where your tunnel comes down and around. You've got your box here, you've got your L wall there. In between the two tiles there, you've just got a wall across there. This is to stop anyone from wanting to walk this way and also works for that amplifier there as well then all that's blocked off for the other amplifier so we don't need to look at that now but that's the home base storm shield defense for twine peaks that's the tunnel i use and it's done all of my 10 ssds and hasn't found me any endurance yet and works for all of my war games because even though, even if you get the close spawns it still works like because you you've got this this is where all of the actual like killing of the husks happens the rest of it's mainly just a stall so even if you get a close spawn this is going to wipe out a lot of the things especially with the lower timer on it so that's these tunnels built to the north and the east of the home base in twine peaks i hope this helps you guys if you liked it leave the video a like Comment, let me know how this went for you, what other amplifiers you need help with, and thank you and subscribe. And thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.